former uh, IDF ministry captain, former uh, Netanyahu assistant foreign policy advisor. And Caroline, I can't help but go back. Maybe I've been obsessing too much on this Saudi Arabia hosted summit that features Iran for the first time in 11 years. Iran quickly seized on the PR game from that to say they're all in agreement, but they're not all in agreement. So what do you make of it? Hi, thanks for having me on, Neil. Um, look, there isn't any agreement in the Arab League among uh, Arab leaders and certainly not among the Saudis and the Iranians. But um, Iran, of course, wants to present a united front against Israel. And to a certain degree, this uh, meeting of Arab leaders uh, is a show of force that Iran wants, even though you do hear disparate voices like that of uh, Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman, who says that the hostages need to be returned. Um, when he says that, um, the, the, the expectation is that the, the raids and the attack lines and the strikes stop. Is, is, is he getting ahead of himself? Um, look, I, I think that the call for a ceasefire is very much getting ahead of yourselves. You know, we have military objectives. We have to obliterate Hamas after what they did to us just five weeks ago. I mean, there's no way that we can coexist with Hamas after what happened. That's very, very clear. It can't continue to exist as an entity. Uh, if uh, we want to live in security and really want to continue to survive here in Israel, because we see what happens. They continue to rebuild, reconstitute their power after every round of previous warfare, thanks to the international community that sends them billions and billions of dollars, first and foremost Qatar and Iran. But uh, we can't allow this to continue. Hamas has to go. And so no matter what happens at the end of the day, Israel isn't going to be able to... Uh, give up on that goal because it's it's become a war for our survival that's what we saw very clearly on october 7th and there's no way that we can stop with anything short of achieving that goal you know um caroline i i, I know you get this question a lot and and are asked your your thoughts on it but when when i keep following these protests going around around the globe uh, pretty much to a protest i don't want to say they're all this way you hear that chant from the river to the sea this is the the, the, the wording used to uh, describe the rant of these pro-Palestinian marches regarding Israel uh, from the river to the sea is, is, is not exactly code for wiping out Israel, but that's exactly what it's doing. Now, some might be ignorant of that, but, I, I, but as even Benjamin Netanyahu has said, probably not too many. So they know full well what they're saying. Uh, what do you they think absolutely about know what they're saying. I think, I think you're absolutely right. They know exactly what they're saying. They're calling for the annihilation of the Jewish state, of the largest Jewish community on planet Earth. And they're also attacking Jews all over the world with that slogan. And we see it on university campuses from coast to coast of the United States. We see it in London. We see it in Paris. We see it in Brussels. So that this is a code not only for the annihilation of the Jews of Israel, but for the annihilation of the Jews everywhere, which is, of course, what's in Hamas's covenant itself, that they call for the annihilation of Jewry. So does Hezbollah. So does Iran. So, yes, that's what they're saying. Amazing. Caroline, be safe for yourself. Caroline Glick, uh, a former key advisor to Benjamin Netanyahu. All right. A lot of people look at what's going on in Israel and think, well, this is their problem. They're